Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Emptiness 002 versus Just More 88, and this is a $20 money match. Also, make sure to check out the Discord down below, the Coliseum Discord, if you want to play in competitive matches like these. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video. And then we are going to see Just More when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoots, so they can decide if they want to go first or second. And then looking at deck counts, we see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And Just More is going to decide to go first. And then opening hands, we have Silent Mining, Ash, Pikachu, Doyon, and Rivalry. Or, I don't know why I try to call in this rivalry. I can't even say that word. Okay, Warlords. There we go. That's easier. But this card is going to become more popular, I think. Because, like, people are trying to play a little bit, like, less hand traps and some, like, more control cards as the format's slowing down. Uh, it's kind of like how the beginning of formats usually are. And then they have Orange Light, Ben 10, Draco Noids, Droll, and Emergency. So, they have one Drytron name. They do have one hand trap. So they're going to go ahead and activate emergency. Searching out Zeta from the deck to the hand. And then Zeta effect. Tribute Ben 10. It's going to bring itself out. Go grab ritual spell. And then Ben 10 effect. That's going to go grab diviner. And then normal summon diviner. Use that. They're going to chain ash. And then just get rid of Zeta for Link Karibo. And then pass. Yeah, that's uh, not crazy. And then they're going to draw Sign of Mining. They're going to go ahead and summon that out. Use the effect. Go search. And then grab Island. And they're going to drop Droll there. And then Link Away. Activate Island. Go ahead and summon out Doyon. Effect. Grab back. And then get rid of those to make Splash. And then Island, summon out Pikachu, Splash Effect, summon back out Doyon, and then turn those into Update Jammer, and then make Access Code, and then you're going to get those effects, and then, you know, you just go ahead and pop, pop, pop those, and then attack, attack, GG. So, moving on to the next game. Well, so you got to love to see it. <laughs> so... Moving on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see the Drytron player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Called By, Island, Sign of Mining, Island, and Imperm. So they have one hand trap going second. Also, Called By is going to be good because you can use it on like Orange Light or like Eva. And then they have Diviner, Emergency, Diviner, Droll, and Delta. So they're going to start off with Emergency, go grab Alpha. And then Alpha Effect. Get rid of Delta, bring itself out, searching out Ben 10 from the deck, and then Normal Diviner, use that. They're going to chain Imperm to negate that. And then Delta, get rid of Ben 10, bring that out, and then you're going to get Ben 10 effect, go grab Orange Light. And then go for Link Karibo. Then get rid of those for IP Pass. Um, they could have also used alpha, okay, okay, L let's see, let's see, L let me like actually think this through so I don't just come up with like some whack play, so like you could overlay for like XYZ and then XYZ affect a dump, what do you dump there, because like if you dump ritual spell, it actually just doesn't do anything, if you dump... I mean, obviously, you're going to make the rank 1. I think you just dump Gamma, and then you Gamma effect, Tribute XYZ, bring itself out, and bring out one from the graveyard. And then you turn Diviner plus the Gamma and, like, Delta into a Herald. And then you have Gamma in Graveyard, so you have another Drytron in Grave. And then you have, like, Herald on board, and Herald is a Negate plus, like, a follow-up. So I feel like you could just, like, definitely do something better than this. And then pass, draw I meet you. They're going to go ahead and activate I meet you. And then that will reveal from the extra deck, the light. And then go grab Pikachu. Also, shout out Crush Cards. Uh, I was watching their deck profile yesterday, and they, they, they even said Pikachu. I thought that was cool. Then they're going to drop Draw and Lockbird. 
and then you can chain called by to go ahead and hit draw normal summon out pikachu use the effect they're gonna let that go through go grab contact yeah that's gonna be pretty good and then turn that to a dark infant dark infant effect go search out island and then activate island use that it's gonna put that back and then draw three Draws into the cycle reader, draw, and then wait. Yeah, they drew imprim there. Yeah, so they drew those. That is nice. Then go ahead, sign a mining, discard island, free discard. Because you can you can use that to set itself any time if you want to. Go grab fire. And then island. That's gonna summon out fire. And then you're gonna get fire effect to search. They're gonna let that go through. Go grab Doyon. And then battle phase, attack Link Karibo. They're just gonna use that effect. And then go for Cyber's Wicked, Island, Summon. You're gonna get those effects. Banish to add, well, you're gonna use that to add back. And then that, go grab Wind. Then turn those into a splash. You're gonna get Doyon effect. Add back from the graveyard. Yeah, they're gonna let that go through. And then island, summon wind, wind effect the dump. And that's gonna go ahead and dump the Damari. And then splash to summon. Summon back out Doyon. Turn those into the Wind Pegasus, and you're going to get Wind's Graveyard Effect to go ahead and Special Summon back out the Doyon. Then slap those into a Transcode. Transcode Effect, they're going to chain Orange Light to that. Uh, if they don't negate that, then they can just like summon this back, and then go ahead and turn all those into an Arrival. So they're going to go ahead and stop that. And then Wind Pegasus effect, that's going to banish itself to go ahead and put back. And then set Imperm, end phase, take 23 off the Aimichu, pass, draw Nova. And it doesn't matter, because you can like Nova, summon out any Drytron. And then Graveyard effect, Tribute, Chain Cycle Reader, and now you have nothing. And now it's game. Oh, they, they even drew Cycle Reader, yeah, they're dirty. Yeah, normal summon, go grab Reborn. And then Link Away. They're going to summon, go grab Island, uh, contact, draw three, put that back. And then Island, summon fire, fire effect, go grab Doshin, link those away for splash, special summon out uh, Doshin with Island, and then splash, summon back, and then turn those into an update jammer, and then... You know, you're going to get the effect to add back. It doesn't matter, though, because you just make access code, can attack twice, gain some attack there. And then, boom, boom. So it gamed them the same way, both games. Uh, yeah, I mean, they probably should have played that out differently. I feel like they would have. Could have been, you know, a huge difference. I don't know why they played it the way they did. Yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit weird, for sure. I think that they would have, like, ended on, like, Herald. Because, like, going for IP is just so weird there. Because you're not going to have a discard. Because if you discard Orange Light or Diviner, then you can't Orange Light. And it's just, uh, I feel like Herald would have just been a much better choice. Also, they could have done Gamma to Graveyard for better follow-ups next turn. So I feel like they just played that out pretty bad, for sure. But it's cool, uh, this deck, you know, Update Jammer. This card's becoming a lot more popular. I've been seeing this in a lot more lists other than just Emptiness's build. Uh, I feel like a lot more people are going to start playing this card. Honestly, it lets you go for game, like, more often, which is obviously good. And then, yeah, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people cut down from 3 Dark Infant to 2 of it. Uh, just like, because this can, well, I guess it depends like what their extra deck is exactly. Because this is like the 15th spot or the 14th spot most of the time uh, from what I've seen on the deck list. 
Also, like, this card can banish itself off board to shuffle back. I already know someone's going to comment that. It says, while this card is on the field or in the graveyard, uh, you definitely want to know that. And the fact that this card can pop back row, that's another, like, cool effect of it. But, yeah, with all that being said, there's not too much more to say. Uh, shout out to Emptiness for winning $20 there. Uh, and then we saw Just More lose $20. Let's see, do they say... Oh, they did say GG's. Nice. <laughs> Uh, but seeing how long the match was, so, ooh, that was a really, 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 really quick match, only 15 minutes long, so it only took 15 minutes to win $20, not bad, and with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off, peace, have a nice day.